So this is the portion of the reference table that shows us the planetary wind and moisture belts in the troposphere. The troposphere is the lowest layer of the atmosphere. So we have a lot of information here that we need to understand, right? First, we have different areas of different areas where you have latitudes of where it's wet or where it's dry. Now, areas where it's wet, they're going to be at latitude zero, which is the equator, okay? And also at 60 latitude north and 60 latitude south. Okay, so that's something that we should be aware of. Areas where, or latitudes where it's dry is 30 degrees latitude south and 30 degrees latitude north, right? A couple other things that you should notice is that if you notice the areas, the locations where it's wet, notice how the arrows are coming together, all right? So they're converging. So these are areas of convergence. And when air or when wind comes together, they have to rise. So you have rising air. So if you notice, follow the arrows. They're coming together at one spot. And eventually, air is going to rise. And of course, rising air, anytime you have air that rises, eventually cools, condense, and form clouds. So here, these arrows over here represent rising air. So any arrows that you see here that's going up represents rising air. So thus, if you have rising air, it cools, condense, form clouds, most likely you're going to have some form of precipitation. So this is why these areas are wet. Now, if you notice the areas that are dry, the arrows are moving away from each other. Okay? They're moving away from each other. And if you notice, the air is sinking, right? It's coming down. So air that is sinking is dry air. Okay? Air that is sinking is dry air. It's not rising. So you're going to have areas where that you have dry, where it's dry, okay? Also, the arrows represents the planetary wind belts. So here we have southwest winds because the winds are coming from the southwest. Then we have the northeast winds because they're coming from the northeast. The southeast winds, the northwest winds, uh, we have the southwest, the southeast, and northeast. Okay, so it's very important that we understand the movement of the planetary wind belt. In terms of North America, or for us, we are affected by the southwest winds, the southwest winds. This is the reason why our weather moves from west to east. So we have an area of low pressure. It's going to move from west to to east. So let's look at some of these questions. It says, at which latitudes do currents of, of dry sinking air cause the dry conditions of Earth's major deserts? So I, all you have to do is look for where, which latitude that, that has dry air. As we mentioned before, there's 30 latitude north and 30 latitude south. And our best answer, our best choice is choice C. The next question, the planetary wind and moisture belts indicate that large amounts of rainfall occur at Earth's equator because the air, well, zero degrees, this is the equator. And again, if you follow the arrows, the arrows are converging, they're coming together. So when they come together, they have to go someplace, so they rise. So it's converging and rising. Okay, high pressure dry climate belt is located at which earth latitude so dry climate so it has to be dry the best choice is going to be anything that has 32 latitude south and 30 latitude north amongst our four choices we it's c 30 latitude north a couple more examples which climate Climatic conditions exist where the trade winds converge. Okay, the trade winds converge. 
So here we have the northeast trades and the southeast trades. Okay, so what climatic conditions? Notice that when they converge, it's wet. So the best choice would be C, warm and wet. We know it's wet because it says it's wet, and it's warm because it's at the equator. Right? And our last one, which wind belt has the greatest effect on climate of New York State? So we have to understand we are in between latitudes 30 north and 60 north. So here we have our southwest winds. So our best choice would be our, it would be choice B, prevailing southwesterlies.